Hi, I'm Britt Barron, the voice of Tifa Lockhart in Final Fantasy VII, and you are watching Craig's Corner Studios. Pax West. Pax West. Pax West. I say a lot of great things about it, but one thing this year I can say is something I thought I'd never live to see. It's now 20 years since PAX West was made. 20! And because of this milestone, I'm sure they will pull out the big guns to celebrate this milestone. Well, as of writing this script part of the vlog, I haven't even left my house yet. But I'm sure we'll see some goodies, booths, and other parts of the expo. Also, uh, we're not gonna show any panels. They're just boring. Who wants to sit down and listen to other people yap? Oh, uh, you're, you're listening to me? Oh, oh, okay, never mind. If you're listening to me, then that's fine. I will let that slide. After seeing the new light rail in Linwood, I added some cash into my bus pass and went down to Seattle as usual. It's kind of sad that I don't go to Northgate anymore. But if getting there is one bus ride and a light rail away, I am taking my chances to make new routes. Man, it feels so good to be back. What is it, March? It's been like, what, five months? It's been five months, huh? Well, the Seattle Convention Center. Ah, uh, so many memories. Come on, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, the Expo Hall. I definitely remember that. It's been a year, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Well, who knows? Well, we are now currently at the top. Uh, let's see. I don't... Oh, there's that thing. Hold on, let me go behind. Uh, I honestly have no idea what that is. Hmm. Well, I mean, this is day zero, so of course we are not going to get anything huge. I wonder what else is around. Okay, so it seems that we are a bit limited on places we can explore. So, yeah, this is not like SakuraCon a couple of months ago. So I guess we can see the arch, I guess? There, there should be something huge down there. Well, there's a summit. Let's see what we got. Okay, so a little bit of a quick update. It seems that a lot of places here are blocked off. Um, it's mostly because everything is still under construction, mostly just employers over there. So for now, I guess, I guess I'll just probably walk around or maybe head back home. Yeah, expected to go in there a little bit, but uh, I guess, I guess not. Hmm, I guess we're all gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Well, there goes my chances of looking at people, setting things up. I remember doing this last year. I guess times really do change. Looks like the escalators are up. Well, I guess we gotta get going, huh? <laughs> It's sure bright out here. The, hold on. I finally have an excuse to actually play this game as Bridget now. Oh my goodness. I can finally actually play the game now. The frame rate is going to be really bad though. All right, it is day one at PAX West 2024. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a whole bunch of crazy stuff that's going to happen. Then again, last year had the Nintendo Live event, so I don't know if this year is going to be big like last year, but hey, it's fun. And that's all that matters, doesn't it?
the, the answer is yes. As long as it's fun. Who cares? Right? Right. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Welcome to the fun booth. Well, I already know where I'm going. Today's adventure has led me going into the big booths like Nintendo for example. But the lines were capped when I got in, so I stopped by Capcom first. Oh yeah, I forgot he was in the game. Yeah, after what happened last year, I'm not going to be waiting for an hour just for a badge. Now, as a rivals of Ether player myself, I'm kind of wondering, hmm, I wonder where can I find that place? Normally I'm supposed to be here, but uh, ooh, oh, never mind, never mind. There it is, found it. Ooh, here it is, here it is. Oh, I'm gonna have fun playing this. Uh, excuse the intermission. I will be right back. As a rivals enjoyer, I had to place Clarence. Also, if you play, you can get some raffle tickets. The limit is 5 and I played a bit too long, so I was unable to play for the time being. But if you did came around by 5 p.m., you can participate in the raffle place. Is that me? After some fights from here and there, I stopped by some merch places and get some things before the line started getting really long. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? So currently it's like 12 something, and I think it's about time that we uh, change the whole up. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were going to change scenery like that. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I should get in the ring. Okay, you ready? Hey everyone, welcome to a... Uh, um, look, we're just currently having lunch, a little bit of a snack break before heading down somewhere else. Maybe down at the Arch Place there. They're probably gonna have a lot of stuff down there, but it's probably panels, I guess. Maybe, I know down there, there's probably gonna be some more stuff, I think. I don't know, but for the time being, when I was at Fan Gamer, I managed to meet another individual. And we're gonna have a little uh, chit chat with them. Uh, you wouldn't mind saying your name, uh, would you? So, uh, you en you enjoying yourself today? So, um. Do you, do you have a profession in life or something? This has been a very, very long wait ride. Wait line, sorry. I'm gonna ride on that.
Whoa, 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 did you look at that? No lines. All for me, huh? Whoa, would you look at that? They have their own studios. But obviously, let's be honest here. My Craig's Corner Studios is awesome. Okay, we might be running low on a few equipment, but still better than that, right? Right? After stopping by the wait line at the Capcom booth again, I decided to kill time with going down to the Nintendo booth playing games like The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, Super Mario Party Jamboree, and that one Star Wars game that feels like Overwatch without the... Um, <clears throat> ah, never mind the last part. It was just... Star Wars Overwatch. Because of time, it seems tomorrow's adventure will lead us into the Summit Building. What happens over there is a mystery. Alright, it's 5pm. I should be right here at the Rivals Place. So I managed to get like, like I said, uh, five tickets, five raffle tickets, so I should have a really good chance on getting something here. I swear, if I, if all my five tickets get me nothing, I mean, I could come back tomorrow, but it'd be very disappointing if I don't get anything on my first try. <sighs> I hate raffles. Well, this is day one of everything. Um, yeah, it looks like I spent the entire day here at the Arch. Uh, maybe I should go over to the Summit, but there are some things I kind of want to do here tomorrow. Now, of course, I did a lot of really fun things today. Just, um, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow then. Oh, hey, look! I'm in Paldia! Wait a minute. There's that DLC. Buy the game. Uh, guys, isn't it very fast bear? Or, 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 or. <coughs> oh, oh, I, I, can't, I can't do the joke anymore. I'm old. So, uh, human chaperone, a quick question. Okay, so uh, right over there is uh, Roxanne Wolf. You think uh, when you dress up, um, you think you can cosplay as her as uh, her in SakuraCon? Oh, come on, you have the money. I'll give you $70. Well, now we know what we're going to dress up as. It's currently day two, so uh, I was thinking of going to go get some merch over there, but the line is kept, so for the next 20 minutes, I'm just going to be looking around, I guess. I mean, I already looked at everything over there at the summit, but I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I got time. Today marks the second day of PAX West, and I decided to look at some of the limited edition merch. I got a zip up hoodie and two per person pins. What a steal! Along with other pins I added to my backpack, of course. If you love people and the weekends, this is a test of your own words. The lines and people walking made me and my chaperone very squished, kind of like sardines. But at least we managed to squeeze through. Well, this is the uh, Summit Building and oh wow, it's bright. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I really should not be facing the sun right here. Can we go the other way around? Okay, how's this? Okay, back here? Yeah, I think it's best that we get inside. Let's see what we see here. Because, you know, we never did yesterday. <laughs> Ooh, a little chilly. <sighs> there used to be a giant Pikachu up there. It's all gone. I expected to take a photo of it, but nah, I guess not. Alright, uh, let's see what we can see here. It's, uh... Um... Honestly, I have no idea what this place is. 
So apparently this is free console play. Uh, yeah, all these characters, no DLC. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess I could give it a shot. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe. I, I mean, I do have a lot of free time. I guess I could play a game. I guess. And right here is tabletop. This, this is where. Uh... Okay, I don't have any words for this. It's a. Uh... Um... Okay, so here is tabletop gaming, and um. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge tabletop person. I think I'm just gonna skip this part anyways. What? Ugh, I don't get laptop. I mean, tabletop, sorry. But as a gamer myself, the concept of fun presented with cards and dice, it doesn't really hang around my mind. I mean, you do you, but hey, at least the card illustration looks really cool. I was really stuffy in there. Now let's see what I have to... Uh... Oh. Oh, uh, more tabletop. I should see what's upstairs. Oh, uh, Maybe less tabletops and less cards. I do gotta admit, the cards look pretty nice. I do like the illustrations a bit. Hey everyone, this is day two of PAX West. Uh, that room over there had three of the Final Fantasy VII actresses. I'm gonna put their photos up here. So, um, one of the people I wanted to meet is uh, Susie Young. She unfortunately did not do uh, she did not accept voice recordings, but instead I got a pretty cool materia pouch, got a signature from it. So I know one of the other two is capable of doing it, so I'm gonna have to come there first thing in the morning. I'm pretty sure that once I'm done editing the vlog, you all know who I'm gonna be talking about. Quick segue, but here's a picture of me and Susie Young. She voices Yuffie from Final Fantasy VII Remake and several other characters. 100 yen life. All arcade games are free to play. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought I misread that. For a minute there, I thought it said... Oh. Well, it's not arcade without Tekken. Or any Bandai Namco games. Hello again. It seems we're now back at the arch. Uh, the summit was fine though. It could have been a little bit better. I'm not a huge tabletop person, so I never really had fun in the best of both worlds. What was that? <laughs> yeah. I finally got it. I finally got the rare one. It took me three times over there at the summit, but here at the arch, one try. I hope I'm not beating my luck too hard, though. Wow. Dark Souls. Hey, everyone. This is the few moments left to PAX West before I head back home. So I was thinking, you know, Yesterday, I got to meet Mothman at Fangamer, and surprisingly, I met someone at the Rivals 2 booth. So, uh, you wouldn't mind telling me what your name is? The name's Rats the Baby? Okay, first of all, I am not a baby. I'm just built like one. Nah, uh, that's cool. But you know what's cool? Subscribing to this channel. Alright, am I done shilling? Yes. Thank you for promoting my channel. Oh, and uh, I think I should do the other way. 
So Rivals 2 is going to be coming out soon. Well, as of recording, it should be in its uh, another launch beta test something. So people should give it a try, right? Yep. And by the way, I did happen to see you playing as Claren multiple times. You like her something? There isn't a lot of strong furry black women in gaming. Honestly, there should be more, I guess. You're a pretty real cool dude. Oh, by the way, Dan the man wanted me to give this to you. It's, uh, here you go. Hey, think you can show me it? No way. Hold on. Just hold it. Hold it. To Dan Fornace, he managed to sign this. We're going to make so much money off of this. Hey, you wouldn't mind if I do one last message, do you? Uh, sure. Uh, what's your final words? Uh, uh, um, I forgot. It's either high altitude or your literal bird brain. Then again, I am a bird too. Is being called a bird brain an insult? But if you're also avian and say it, huh, that actually is a pretty good question. Oh, oh yeah, I totally remember. You know Absa, the, the goat? Pretty sure you've seen her, right? When I first saw Absa, I thought she was the guy because, you know, her uh, breasts are kind of showing, but she's also furry, so... I mean, there's Maple, who's who has no clothes but has fur because it's really long. Then there's Zetterburn. You ever think that if Absa returns, she might get something to cover her top? I don't know. Guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Eh, guess that makes sense. Thank you, Raster, and thank you, everybody, for watching day two. Now let's see what we have for day three. Bye! Hello, everyone. This is day three of Craig Goes to Pax West, and, uh... Yeah, apparently there isn't really anything huge going on up there. Normally I thought there would, but I guess there... I guess it won't be riding on the escalator here, I guess. Maybe in April. But yeah, today is pretty bright outside. Really sunny. I guess that's why they call it a Sunday, right? Right? Look, I don't have all the answers. I just really want to be sure, okay? It's the third day at PAX West, and the sun was cooking us like microwave dinner leftovers. I decided to stop by at the Rivals booth again and max out on the raffle tickets. It's only been a couple of minutes since 10, and there is a lot of people here. Lines are starting to get really crowded up. You know, I know the place opens at 10, but how did people manage to get in early? Are the doors are open early? I think so. You know, once I make a lot of money next year, I'm going to see about making my own hotel. I mean, if I could do it to SoccerCon, why here, you know? Ooh, so many selections. Whichever one, two... Ooh, hold on. I like the purple one. The purple one is nice. Hello again. It seems right now I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of dice. And even though I'm not a dice person, I want to show you my favorite right here. It's called Berry Cream. I could go for some ice cream after this, but I really like this one. Shame I'm not a dice person, but I really do love this color combination. It's really nice. I like it. And checked out some more tabletop stuff like Painting monster figures, and faces, and even the dices. Hmm. Oh well, here's the summit. Okay, so it looks like I got two hours here until another meet and greet. So uh, I guess for the next two hours, I guess I could just mess around or eat lunch. Yeah, I think I'll just mess around. You know, it's a vlog. I'm only here once, right? Eesh. So many clothes.
clothes and coats for sale. I wonder what's something I could take for my family. I wonder what size Bonaparte is. Probably two XLs. Yeesh, there's a lot of people here. Whoa, 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 would you look at that? It's the software that I used to make my videos. That, that, that's, that's literally, I just wanted to show you that. Somewhere high up there, I know. As promised in the Seattle Indies Discord server, I'd get myself to their room at the Hilton Motel Hotel, just a few blocks from the Arch. It was really packed, and I got to exchange some info and business cards. Thank goodness all of my cards are digital QR codes now. Despite being there for a long time, I completely forgot about the raffles. You know what's worse than not winning a raffle? Getting one number off of a ticket. One off. So close, so irritating. Well, that's the end of day three. Uh, apparently, there's not a lot of stuff that I can look forward to. But, uh, yeah, let's see what tomorrow has, I guess. Normally, I'm supposed to have someone to interview, but I guess I don't. So, I guess I can start with you. So, uh, how's your day been? What do you mean you have a boyfriend? Fine. I'll go talk to someone else. Well, it's the last day. I pretty much saw everything I needed to, so I could have ended everything yesterday. But I paid good money to spend all four days in Seattle. Also, I have to work after this, so I'm gonna be really exhausted during work time. Is it worth it? Well, there is a phrase called YOLO. You only live once. Carpe diem grind, right? Wow, there is a lot of people here today. Huh, Romanta, I thought there'd be less people. You know, with the weekends being done and all that. Thank goodness that wasn't me in that rush. Whew. I would have not survived. But at least I'm here by myself. Well, I'm gonna have to take one more look before I say goodbye to everything. Because I'm not coming back here until April. Is that the fight of 87? Nah, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I just thought it would be funny. Okay, I'm done, I'm done here. Oh geez, that is a big line. That is a big, big line. I'm, uh... Well, I mean, you're still gonna have to hold your end of the promise too, right? Oh, come on. You're gonna be, uh, Roxanne, SakuraCon. You have the money, dude. You spent like $600 for the last four days on merch 
other places in here. Okay, okay, yes, yes, it is the 20th anniversary. I will let that slide. Oh yeah, I should do some other things too, I guess. Maybe a little bit of souvenirs. Yeah, I mean, it can't be that bad. for brown and white. Can you believe that? I'm first. <laughs> to Craig, every minute, every moment matters. Well, looks like I managed to get a signature from all three. Yes, nailed it. Up here. Hey, so uh, 12.30 something here. There's not a lot of people here, but the uh, I wanted to show you this. Okay. Okay. Um, human chaperone? Try not to drop the phone. Okay. Check this out. Look down here. Look at all these people here down at the expo down there. I think that's uh, second floor? What's down there? Oh, that's the tabletop. And over there is the merch. I think I went there yesterday. And I think that's pretty much it. I just want to show you on this floor. Well, I only have a couple of hours left until I have to head back home. I recently came back from the Five Nights at Freddy's photos place. It was it was pretty nice. It's a shame that I get it. Yeah, no, it's a. I mean, I remember hanging out with Freddy last year, but there was also Roxanne that I showed you the photo of. Yeah, I guess I really didn't. Uh, hmm. On second thought, I'm going home. Well, it's currently 5 p.m. I guess this means I have to go. Well, I'd be happy to stay a little bit longer, but I unfortunately cannot. Now, I did have a lot of fun. I met a lot of people. And if you were lucky, I might have met you over there. Now, the question that's been on my mind is... Was this year PAX better than last year's? No, not really. Even though it is the 20th anniversary, there's just something about Nintendo Live events that happened last year that just really blew it out of proportion. Of course, I really did enjoy the indie booths, got to meet a lot of people. I mean, I did have a lot of fun. And I especially had a lot of fun making vlogs. But the unfortunate thing about vlogs is that you can't go back in time. Every second, every minute, every hour, they matter. Whether you want to take a photo or do a recording, everything matters. So, carpe diem every day, even if it's not a vlog. Because you'll never know when the last convention you're going to go might definitely be your last. And I really hope that doesn't affect me someday. Then again, I am going to have to leave this platform someday. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy myself heading back home. Well, I'll see you all at Craig Goes to SakuraCon 2025. See you! Wow!
Craig got the signature from Tifa's voice actress? Not just that, but Yuffie's too down there. Oh! Ooh, what about Aerith? Did you get her? Nah, I kinda didn't felt like going in for the kill. Man, you make one bad Sephiroth. Hey Craig, where did you say you wanted this? Oh, so you did meet her, huh? Huh, I, uh, I actually kind of forgot about that one. Uh, thanks, Bonaparte. So, how are you going to fit this on the couch? Honestly, I have no idea. Well, at least it's nice to know that you managed to come back home safe and sound. Uh, long boy, honey. How come you never go to any of these events with Craig? No animals allowed. Unless they're like, you know, service animals. And, uh... I really hate customer service. Also time travel stuff. But that's like, uh... Um... You're gonna have to watch the previous Craig Goes to Pax episodes in order to understand that part. Uh... okay Hey, who's ready to rock? Raster, what are you doing here? Go home! Oh, sorry. I just flew all the way. Why did you fly all the way to my house? I forgot to ask you. What's in that bag? What bag? Because, I mean... Uh... Oh, I mean, yeah, I can open this one. Is that the blue materia? Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, there was a whole bunch of materials being sold. Don't know what it does, because, you know, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy person, but, uh... Let's just hope nothing bad ever happens to it. Why do I feel like we can make a lore story out of this? Oh, you're here too, huh? I'm sorry, is that Mothman? Yep, he too also followed me. Oh, Craig. What? what? Uh, yes? Only I get to end this episode saying this. Uh, okay. I I'm sorry for taking your word. Yeah, you better be. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Craig. And that is how you do it. Don't you ever, ever take my line again. You got that? To your own stick. I'm sorry. Buddy. Hey, this is Video Donkey. You're watching Craig's Corners videos.